Seoul's subway lines are connected to almost every corner of the city and are a good option for foreign tourists to use when choosing where to visit. Our Lee Min Sun tells us some good places for foreign visitors to check out. Seoul is full of attractive tourist spots, and most of these places are reachable by subway. It's one of the most efficient ways to tour the city. The subway is clean, easy to use, runs frequently, and is relatively cheap. Pampo Hangang Park is just a few minutes' walk from Express Bus Terminal Station on Subway Line 3. Seasonal flowers, animals, and riverside scenery make it a great place to take some pictures. Or visitors can walk, run, or cycle along the river. They can also rent a tent to relax and have food delivered. Moving a couple of subway stops north, Apgujang Station on Line 3 or the Apgujang Rodeo Station on the Bundang Line is a must-visit spot for K-pop lovers. Along with many luxury shops, specially made dolls called Gangnam Door are on display along the street named K-Star Road. Fans can walk around to find the dolls that represent their favorite K-pop groups like BTS, Girls' Generation or EXO. So we came here for the K-pop Star Road. Because we like K-pop, <laughs> yes, and we just wanted to see the dolls and see the place, the S M building, yeah. <laughs> because uh, well, I like EXO and I like I love N C T as well. <laughs> um, yeah, we we like K-pop, <laughs> and we just want to take pictures. We just expect to have a good time. The weather is so nice. Gangnam District is the leading place for spotting the latest Korean trends and is the home of many Korean stars. This neighborhood is packed with entertainment companies like SM and FNC Entertainment, and celebrities often shop here. If visitors are lucky, they might bump into an actual K-pop star. Across the river near Anguk Station on Line 3, there are well-known places like Royal Palaces and Bukchon Hanok Village. Roughly a 10-minute walk from the Hanok Village is the Blue House, Korea's presidential office. To tour inside, visitors must make an online reservation, but even without a reservation, you can go to the water fountain in front of the Blue House and take pictures. Since 2017, the walking trail from the fountain to the other end of the Blue House has been open to the public, giving tourists a chance to take a peek at Korea's top office. Lee Min-sun, Arirang News.